Hey everybody, this uh, video here is for my friends that are trying to figure out how to use the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, to do retro gaming. And uh, I was doing the Game Wizard here, which is uh, gamewizard.ca. They've got a really cool image file. Um, things that I've also used, learned from other YouTube videos, thanks to all these other people out there with different tips. Um, you might want to get the SD card formatter, and that's uh, at the sdcard.org. And you might want to get the Win32 disk imager, which allows you to copy the image to your SD card. So once you download the image from the uh, download section here, To download this and then use the Win32 disk image to copy that image over onto your SD card and then you'll put it here into your Raspberry Pi. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Guess not. Goes right in here on your Raspberry Pi. <clears throat> Anyways, I was all excited about this and decided I'd get this cool Evo VR, um, the toy store, the RS toy store was closing and uh, they had this for $13 wireless Bluetooth gamepad. It says it's for your smartphone and uh, VR headsets. Now what's interesting is uh, it said it was Android and Apple compatible. D-pad. Basically it looks very similar to a uh, PlayStation 4 controller or PlayStation 3 controller, Xbox controller. It's got all the standard features. Um, it's got the hats that they click on there and the gamepad clicks and then you've got your normal select and start button and your A, B, X, Y buttons and your shoulder buttons and your trigger buttons and it does not work uh, with the USB that's just used for charging so I played with this for a while here and uh, was getting kind of frustrated the instructions say, I guess I had to get the instructions out, that you, for Android, you hold down the uh, X key and press the home button. And uh, here's the instructions right here. So it's got Android pairing, iOS pairing, and multimedia mouse mode. Hold the X key and home button for five seconds for Android. Hold the B key for five seconds and the home button for iOS. And then you can do a short press for three seconds and it'll go into the mouse multimedia mode. Um, and what I wanted to do was connect up Bluetooth to the Raspberry Pi and I saw a couple other videos and it showed it was really easy and all you had to do was pair it up and connect it and uh, I found that it wouldn't work it would just recognize it as a keyboard and then I found that there was a little hack inside of the retro pry settings um, and if you enabled the joystick hack then it would recognize it finally as a gamepad via Bluetooth. So I banged my head a long time on that and I'll see if I can show you exactly how to do that. <clears throat> what I've done is I copied the image file over onto the SD card and I'm going to start fresh with a uh, 32 gig SD card to see how this goes. And uh, I'm sure it's going to take a little bit to boot up, so I'll put this on pause. I'm going to put that SD card here in the Raspberry Pi, 
and uh, we'll watch it on this monitor over there so we'll see what happens here in just a minute okay so I've put the SD card in there and I've plugged it in and turned the power on and it's going to come up here with something let's see what it says here uh, well, it has its flashing now that's just the stock image, so I don't really have anything set up on it. Alright, so I've got this little wireless keyboard that's hooked up to this USB right here on the bottom and uh, that way I can type things and get it set up so we'll see what happens here in a minute okay, so let's do that. again there we go emulation station kind of cool to have this uh, music that goes off in the background. Alright, so here's our retro pie. Let's see if the... Alright, so the little wireless mouse works to uh, get in there. I'm going to go to retro pie. Okay, so I'm not a total expert at this. I've only done this a couple times. I'm just doing this to share with my friends here. Anyways, so the little keyboard that I have here, the problem is I forgot when I did this new SD card, I didn't map the keys to this keyboard. So basically, like on a regular controller, um, if you hit A, we'll select it. I went in here and selected my Wi-Fi and connected to the Wi-Fi and uh, got that set up. And then um, I'm going to use the up and down arrow here on the little keyboard to go to Bluetooth. Oops. See, you got to remember to hit the A and B keys. So go to Bluetooth and hit A. We'll get that going on there like that. And then it'll take you to this stuff going on here. Installing all the dependencies for the Bluetooth devices, which is really cool that it goes and finds all that stuff once you're connected to the internet. And I haven't connected this one to this new SD card yet, this new OS. So uh, we'll go through it together and see what we can figure out. Um, I know it was really frustrating for me because I was like, okay, it paired up, it's there, it's showing it, it's connected, why isn't it doing something? And hopefully uh, once this gets done installing all this stuff, I'll be able to show you that. So I'm just going to put it on pause for a second. Okay, so here we got register and connect to a Bluetooth device. So I'm going to go down here, I'll press the button, get this to come on. showing it there 
let's use a little keyboard here. We're going to press the OK button on the register to connect. It's going to search. And you notice it's flashing over here. And there it goes. Found it. And we're going to hit OK. Security mode. We'll just go OK. Error. Authentication. Timeout. Okay, so let's go back here and we're going to go to. Display registered and connected Bluetooth devices. There are no active connections. Okay. So we're going to go register that again. You can see how this is frustrating. Oh, no devices were found. Sure, device is on and try again. Uh, we'll go down here and we'll hit OK. We're going to hit OK again on this. Let's see if we can find it. Come on. Yeah, I was all excited about this controller. I'm thinking, yay. Okay, so I'm guessing, you know, I need to have to watch my own video and take my own instructions to do what I'm talking about. I even read the instructions to you, so that's about how dumb I am. So you want to hold the X key and turn it on so that it... Same Dell wireless Bluetooth module, I think the right one. So I'm going to try this again. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of finicky, anyways. Um, there's the Bluetooth module, so we'll hit OK. <coughs> and OK. out that's great I may just have to edit this thing again here so we're going to hold X and hold the button down all right so now it's blinking fast register searching
There we go. So what I'm gonna hit? Okay. Okay. Failed again. Why did it do that? Finally, there we go. There's the Evo. Okay. Successful. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go set up the joypad. Set up UDEV rule for joypad. And then we're going to scroll down to the Evo. Boom. And we'll reboot. Alright, so we'll just pull the power out of here. And reboot that sucker. So, and the home button flashes super fast when it's ready to access. It's kind of finicky the way you hold the button and hold it down. So right now it's just wanting to connect. It believes it's connected as an Android because number one is Android right there. So let's see what happens here. Emulation station. to our little pad here. Retro pie, I'm gonna hit A. And then I'm gonna go, um, go B, I'm gonna go back. I'm just gonna hit enter here and go down to configure input. And let's see if it Enter. Configure input. I'm going to hit A. And I'm going to hit yes. Hit A again. Oh no, game pads detected. Are you serious? Let's hold the button on here. and see if the Bluetooth has it in there. Okay. Let me get 
think that it would be connected, but display registered and connected devices. It's on there. Okay. searching. Well, that's about exciting, huh? All right, there's the evil. Uh, it already exists. Okay, so it's, uh, you can see it's connected here. It's flashing as, a, as an Android device. And then uh, I've got the 8-bit do mapping here off. And then I set up the dev rule for Joypad. And so if we go down and look at the display registered and connected devices, there you see it's the Evo. I'm hit OK. All right, so let's get out of this and like the enter button here to get the configuration. We'll go configure input. We have to hit A on the keyboard. A on the keyboard. Ah. There we go, gamepad. Hold a button. All right. So here we go. Now we can go over here and do D pad up, down, left, right. Hit the start button. Select. A, B, X, Y, I'll do the left shoulder here, and then we'll do the right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger, left thumb, I'll do the, the hat button there, left thumb, right thumb, left up, down, left, right, right analog up, down, left, I don't really want that. I'll just hit that. Press anything. Uh, I don't want anything to do it. <laughs> All right. 
right now, right? Okay. Well, I hit it twice, so there we go. So let's see if we're actually doing anything. Oh, there we go. Now we're. Uh, that we're working. As you can see, it's kind of frustrating. It's a little kind of hit and miss deal here with this thing. And then it also, I noticed, would swap the A and B buttons once you're in the game. <coughs> so, this is pretty, pretty slick here. Now if we go use the controller and we hit the back to game wizard hit the A button scroll down here to game wizard RC3 hit A I'm just gonna get some deal here I don't know what it's doing I agree standard level access So I'm gonna get the ROM set, so we'll hit that. And then it's gonna download a zip file. And this is gonna take a while, so I'll just put this on pause. Okay, so then we'll do the ROM set with picture scrapes. And here's the difference. ROM set, so I'm gonna go see how the PlayStation one works. Let's see, because the Nintendo 64 one stuttered a little bit. So let's see what we got here. PSX top 30, let's give that a shot. And we'll let it go. This thing this is gonna take a while. 